Hey everybody, another video here for you. Let's do a coronavirus news. And I make my ancient history news video, so this is an important topic to talk about nowadays. So why don't we do one on this, cover a lot of stories. And I think us uploaders who have a voice should be talking about this. It's very important. And I know a lot of people aren't doing this because their videos won't be monetized. But really, what's more important? Let's talk about this. Coronavirus in Illinois updates. Total cases reach 585 as new death reported. And Pritzker issues stay-at-home order. Chicago has felt this in the recent days. And some certain steps are being taken. It says life continues inside high-rise buildings in Streeterville. As light traffic passes on Lakeshore Drive Wednesday, March 18, 2020, Governor J.B. Pritzker plans to issue a shelter-in-place order for the state of Illinois starting Saturday, and this will last until April 7th. It says the governor announced that the shutdown of Illinois elementary and high schools will be extended through at least April 7th. CPS has already extended its shutdown through April 20th. Earlier on Friday, the Treasury Secretary said that the Trump administration has decided to push the income tax filing date to July 15th from April 15th, while the president announced U.S. and Mexico will sharply curtail cross-border travel. Now here's a story from Duluth, Minnesota, the town I was born in. Vickery Distillery, now distributing sanitizing spray. Now they have a video attached here, so if you want to check this out, but you can just show up at the brewery with your own container, get at least 16 ounces of sanitizing spray at no cost, so that's a pretty good idea from the brewery here. It says they're offering the sanitizer to anyone who needs it. Simply show up with your container. You are asked to limit container size to 16 ounces, and they are offering a gallon to businesses also, so that's a pretty cool story. Now, some of these stories are a day or two old. Some are just popping up in the last few hours. It says Florida, New Jersey, and Nevada, all curbing large swaths of businesses. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issued an executive order Friday afternoon that all on-premises restaurants sales must cease and all gyms and fitness centers must close. Restaurants can keep their kitchens open for takeout delivery services. A dramatic escalation from the announcement earlier this week that restaurants were permitted to stay open at 50% capacity. Nevada was mentioned in that last news story. Here's some local news from Las Vegas. And pretty much everything in Vegas that you would associate with Vegas has been shut down. But a few businesses are getting creative. It says Little Darling Strip Club to offer drive through strip shows and nude hand sanitizer wrestling. I don't know how far that is going to get. I'm sure the use of that much hand sanitizer will be highly criticized, but stay classy, Las Vegas. Let's move on. Now, I will leave all these links below, but here's another story. The most ridiculous ways companies are trying to profit from the coronavirus outbreak. From anti-spitting hats to Dr. Robot's new business opportunities are abundant and weird. This story is over a week old, but empty supermarket shelves. It seems like we have been dealing with this for a while now, and it's still a problem here in Las Vegas. I want to hear from my subs. Are they seeing that same story play out in their communities? And I know I have subs from all over the world, and I like hearing from them. But I just think we should all be aware of companies trying to capitalize on this crisis. And air purifiers is one. It says back in 2003, the Federal Trade Commission and Food and Drug Administration issued a warning about website selling personal air purifiers, among other products that claim to prevent the spread of SARS. And now history seems to be repeating itself. Cleaning products, obviously, have gotten a big boost. Jeremiah Gray, the COO of Earthsafe, a biodegradable chemicals company selling one of these systems, told Recode that demand right now is 100 times greater than it normally is during flu season, explained that these devices are usually purchased by offices, schools, and transit authorities. So they must have like a whole kit of cleaning supplies that are bio biodegradable, and I have no problem with that. I will leave this link below, but there's a lot of videos out there of abandoned cities, and I know Brian Forrester did one in New York just a day or two ago. And I did one here in Vegas about three days ago, but here, Rio de Janeiro, Christ the Redeemer statue. I think this is about 95 feet tall, 
And a lot of people are familiar with this impressive statue, but they lit it up here with the flags of the world to honor coronavirus victims. That's pretty cool. Here it says Indiana is the seventh state to postpone presidential primary. And the more we get into this pandemic, are we going to even want to care that much about the election of Donald Trump versus either one of the two crumpier old men? Well, I'm not really sure. International news, lockdowns here, Italy. Italy cited 9,600 people in one day for violating the lockdown. And I'm sure that is something that we don't want to happen here. And how would they enforce that? That's all things that will be determined in the future if one happens and nobody wants that. This report has 2,600 U.S. troops in self-isolation in Europe and U.S.-led coalition in Iraq suspends training. And it seems a lot of places the world is just kind of coming to a halt. Today, Trump spoke to Charles Schumer about the relief package, and it seems Democrats and Republicans are just kind of throwing away their political stances and getting together because they know how important this is. And in the last week, this has gotten a lot better. And to those out there still taking up their energy and their time to try to shift blame and do that, well, knock it off. Get to the root of the problem and get it done. Here is Governor Andrew Cuomo of New York, and it's gotten pretty serious there. It says only people performing essential services can report to work in New York. Governor orders certainly senses of humor are coming through at this time. This is Board Panda. And they have a website here, and they did an article on some kind of crazy stuff with these days we are dealing with. They show some creative ways to keep yourself safe that people are coming up with. I don't know how effective these are. People are becoming creative, doing whatever they have to do to protect themselves. Here are some people, public transportation. Here is a look at a card game and surgical masks used for the poker chips, if you will. Personal, mobile, self-containment devices. Has this gotten a little out of control? Well, masks are one thing that you really can't find these days, so... Leave it to people to make their own. And who knows how serious this problem is? The exact numbers, it says Americans stuck abroad, urge State Department, please help get us home. Kara Lavelle, 42, is one of thousands of U.S. citizens stranded abroad as flights are canceled in countries such as Honduras, where she was on a scuba diving trip, abruptly closed the borders and suspended all international travel. And I imagine there are travelers away from their home countries that are having this very same problem. And it's not a really easy one to solve, really. Let's move on. This news came out of Spain earlier. Death toll in Spain surges by 30% in one day. Now, here is a really critical issue, the shortage of protective gear for hospital medical workers that are dealing directly with the patients infected. It says healthcare workers are running out of face masks. They're asking people to donate. Masks and respirators are designed to be worn only once, but some medical professionals are being asked to re-wear their gear, and some of them are making protective gear out of office supplies. One doctor posted this on Twitter, don't hoard N95 masks. If you bought some already, donate them back to the local hospital. Jeremy Faust, an emergency doctor, wrote on Twitter, adding that a respected colleague told him that their hospital was considering reusing N95 masks since are running out. Another doctor posted a photo of one packaged N95 respirator writing, this is my one N95 mask. I've been instructed to preserve it for up to 30 days by covering it with a regular surgical mask, which are also on a critical shortage. The supply chain should not have crumbled and in this country, let's make as many of these masks as quickly as we can, for God's sakes. This article says at-home tests for coronavirus are here. Should you take them? And the testing thing, I mean, how long have we known about this and how many total tests in this country have been done compared to other places? Well, there's a bunch of excuses why more tests haven't been done, but the testing seems to have been amped up a lot in the last few days and I'm sure we'll see a lot more cases.
Over the next week, at least four startups are launching the first at-home tests for COVID-19. The companies whose tests have been mostly greenlit but not approved in the conventional sense by the USDA under new guidelines instituted for the coronavirus crisis aim for their diagnostics to offer some certainty to people who have up until now not been unable to get tested as a result of the shortage of test kits. Most of the companies have put their efforts on hold to focus on the coronavirus. There are also concerns that the tests, which customers will be able to order online for between $150 and $200, may not meet the FDA's high standards for traditional approval. Coronavirus testing is a delicate task. It's crucial not only to test people at the right time, but also to get the sample from the right place in the nose or throat. There are also worries that the supply chain shortage could stymie efforts to distribute the tests at scale. As that story, we need more tests. That is my video on coronavirus news. Hope you thought that was informative, a little entertaining. We all got to keep our spirits up during this time. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very safe day.